the Duke of Sussex moved to the United States with his wife Meghan Markle after the couple decided to formally step down as working members of the royal family in March 2020. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle now own an £11 million home in Montecito, which they moved to after living in both Frogmore Cottage and Canada. The Duke has since opened up about the cultural differences between the Golden State and Britain, particularly in how they view mental health and therapy. The topic was addressed by Prince Harry on Tuesday during an appearance alongside Better Up CEO Alexei Robichaux on Reid Hoffman's Masters of Scale podcast. Mr. Hoffman, who co-founded LinkedIn with Eric Lai in 2003, said, As a born and raised Californian myself, we would tell jokes. Hey, my therapist will talk to your therapist, as a way of building a connection. I'm aware that that is a very Californian perspective. The Duke of Sussex replied, You're absolutely right, Reed, about the cultural differences, they're immense. You talk about it here in California, I'll get my therapist to call your therapist. Whereas in the UK it's like, therapist. What therapist? Who's therapist? I don't have a therapist. No, I definitely don't. I've never spoken to a therapist. Prince Harry has previously worked to spread awareness about the importance of mental well-being. He joined his brother Prince William, sister-in-law Kate Middleton and wife Meghan in launching the Mental Health Text Helpline Shout in 2019. The scheme, which received £3 million from their Royal Foundation, is a free and anonymous service which helps connect people experiencing a tough moment with trained volunteers. The Duke of Sussex also revealed how he himself had received therapy and his wife's role in helping him address his mental health. In the docuseries The Me You Can't See, which he co-created with US TV presenter Oprah Winfrey, Harry said, I am one of the first people to recognize that firstly, I had a fear of, when I first went to therapy, a fear of losing. He added, it was meeting and being with Megan. I knew that if I didnt do therapy and fix myself, that I was going to lose this woman who I could see spending the rest of my life with. Thank you.